So what we come up to now is the most important part. This topic is called inference and it's really important that we get this right. If you don't get this right, you will fail the standard. Okay, so what we want to be able to do is link our data, our summary, our sample, link what we have found back to the population that we're interested in. Okay, so making an inference is about linking it back to our population. So here's a diagram to try and explain that a little. We start by having a target population of people that we're interested in. From that target population we take a sample rather than a census. Time, money, all of those are good reasons why we only take a sample. Then we study that sample. We look at it in detail, we draw the graphs of the data, we understand it, we come up with an analysis and conclusion. And lastly, and this is our step we're doing here, is we're making from that sample data, we're going to make an inference back to that target population. So we're going to use that sample data to predict or estimate what we think is true in the target population. So we first of all have to get our bootstrap distribution and find our interval from that. Now, something that's important to know is that confidence level is a, we can't determine it exactly, okay? And so we've got to be careful with our language that we use. Those confidence levels that we get are around about 90%, okay? So that's just a general guideline. We cannot be absolutely certain, but we're reasonably, 90%, we're pretty confident with those answers that we get, okay? So when we look at our estimate, we've got there our confidence interval of between 16 to 23. Achieved, we're going to write this up and say from that bootstrap confidence interval, it is a fairly safe bet. And that tells us that we're pretty confident, we're pretty certain. We're not absolutely certain, but it's, remember it's about 90% around about there. So fairly safe bet covers that. So fairly safe bet that the forwards median weight is going to be between 16 and 23 kilograms more than the back's median weight. So note I'm talking about the median weights, I'm talking about the forwards compared to the backs, and this is where we've got to talk about our population for rugby players in New Zealand and South Africa. We took a sample of rugby players, but this confidence interval is being we're now interpreting in terms of the population that we want to know which is all rugby players in New Zealand and South Africa. For a merit we need to have evidence and we need to be able to justify it. So we don't know how accurate our confidence interval is but we do know that the sample size is about 135 rugby players in this particular sample that we took and you can find that by going back to NZ Graffer and scrolling through the data and seeing how many data values there are. And so from a sample size of 135, we're likely to be around about 90% confident in our estimate. For the difference in median weights of forwards and backs, selected from rugby players in New Zealand and South Africa. So this is the evidence about our accuracy. In terms of excellence, we want to, we need to explain what that confidence, bootstrap confidence interval is and reflect on that accuracy. So go back and think about, well, what is our confidence interval and explain that and interpret that for me.